Anyway, this is a new episode. How do you like working with Scott? Other than the fact that he can be ornier than a never ridden bull in a buck and shoot and can holler longer and louder than all the football coaches in Oklahoma put together, I like him fine. Got this sixth sense when it comes to twisters. Never seen nothing like it. Kinda spooky sometimes. Think he'll win the Green Skies competition? Not a chance. He's got this real negative way about him. Nothing good's ever gonna come his way. Sad, but true. Will it bother you if his team doesn't win? Heck yeah, I'd like to win. It's gonna bother me a lot. But as long as you got Scott for a leader, ain't no way. The guy I'm replacing, what was the matter with his car? A bunch of stuff. Reason he broke down in the middle of that storm and slipped in all that hell was cause his car run out of antifreeze. Should I say coolant. And that's cause mice chewed holes in his hose and made it leak. Have mice done anything like that before? Well, I don't know about here, but I saw a mouse chew clean through a two-by-four in less than an hour once. <laughs> of course, that was probably because my neighbor's dog was one piece of chicken wire away from having it for lunch. But I don't know what them mice found so appealing about that hose, but they sure went it down. It's over there on the workbench. Take a gander at it if you want. I've bugged you long enough. Nice meeting you, Nancy. Just do right by Scott and you'll do fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna... If he get like upset, but I'm sometimes looking at the answers, it's just you know the way it is. Because I don't want to spend forever. I'll give it a good try, and then you know, like that siren poster was bullshit. They wanted it in a certain way. Looks like it cut. This place could really use a cat. I don't know why they don't have one then. Who's hushing me? Each fan is labeled. Okay. Okay, I see. This can only be wired up to... This needs to be wired up to... I see, I'll see. Yeah, this is pretty easy, actually. I remember there's like one more puzzle that's kind of hard, and it's like the Fukujima, or what the ever it's called, scale.
I think that's enough. Uh oh. More work for me means less money for you. Well, anyway, whatever. That's done. Check. That's done. Did that. That's done. All right. Hey. What's up? I'll check back with you in a bit. Have fun. I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. Hello, Nancy. I'll quit bugging you now. Don't hurry back. All right, if you ask me, what we need is an entirely new coaching team. I'm sick of watching the Bison spin. I don't care about sports. I was gonna like listen, but. Good morning, Debbie. Nancy, good morning. Got a few things for you today. That storm really shook up those sensors out in the cornfield. Could you put them back in line? After that. You should go spend some time in the field with Frosty. He really wants to show you some of the basics of storm photography. <laughs> Any chance to show off? That's it for now. Have fun! Yes? I'll let you get back to work. Fine by me. It looks like I need to connect the red beam to the red sensor and the blue beam to the fun. blue sensor. That looks right. No, I am staying at Canute. As it is, he's already near the edge. We just have to give him a little push. No one is going to suspect a thing. I don't know how I feel about this anymore. This is not what I agreed to. I mean, when I said I'd help you, I didn't mean... Way too late to get cold feet here, Frosty. Scott needs to be taken care of. You know that, and I know that. <sighs> you're right. But we can't... No, you're right. It's time to get rid of him. Hello? Gruelmeister here. This Nancy Drew? Yes, it's me. No, indeed. Just when were you planning on bringing me up to speed on all the goings-on out there in Tornado Alley? Sorry, I meant to call... Actually, this isn't the best time. Well, that's no excuse. In fact, it's all the more reason to call me and keep me up to the latest on all the happenings going on out there. Okay, I'll make sure to do that. You had better, Indy. I've got my hands full down here at the warehouse. I don't have time to follow up and make sure you're getting things done out there, all right? Now, tell me what you've dug up on the team so far. Tell me about this Scott character. He's a little hard to read. There seems to be some distance between him and the rest of the team. It might be because he wants it that way, but there could be something else. It's almost like no one fully trusts him. Interesting. Hmm. You'll make sure to keep a close eye on that one. Of course, but... But he's not your only suspect. Right. Well, good. Don't hold back. Tell me everything you know. Uh, what's up with the shutter bug? Frosty, is it? He and Debbie are plotting something, and whatever it is sounds a little sinister. Plotting? How so? Well, I overheard them talking. They were talking about how someone, I assume Scott, was close to the edge and they were going to do something about it. You stay close to the both of them. Report back to me when you're done. Let's call our friends. It's called the Hardy Boys. Nancy! Is that Nancy? You don't need to give me that look. It's a legitimate question. Maybe someone called and asked you to name your favorite detective. Oh, like it hasn't happened before. Hey, look. I bet you there is something good on the other side of those cobwebs. Is this a bad time? No, no, it's a fine time. We're just caught up in... 
What we always seem to get caught up in any time I want to go somewhere in a hurry. You can't blame me for this one. All I said was there's definitely something fishy about this place. But I say that at least four times a day. Vacation's not going so great, I take it. Not so great by half. Oh, it's fine. He's just mad we had to leave Paris without visiting the... What's that thing called? The big boring stolen stone thing? Luxor Obelisk. Yeah, that thing. Why'd you have to leave so quickly? Same old... Hey, look, a hidden door. Why don't you go check it out, Joe? Sometimes, if you give him something to do... Definitely a secret door. Textbook example. Okay, go check it out. What was I saying? You know what? No use in backtracking. I've got maybe ten seconds before he butts in again to announce that he's found some secret lever or something. You're not going to believe what's in here. So what exactly did come up? One second we're in Paris, and you know the drill. Museum leads to clues, clues lead to the Romanov fortune. I'm leaving a few steps out, but... I call it the mystery of the train trip. Would you please not do that? It's embarrassing. But enough about us. What's going on with you? You know P.G. Crowmeister, the founder of the company that makes <laughs> pretty much everything? I didn't know he was actually real. I thought he was more like actual astronaut, the Moonchunk spokesman. Or that cartoon pterodactyl that sells used cars. Wow, he must be a hundred years old. Hard to say. He's got more energy than anyone I've ever met. Anyway, he hired me because he thinks that someone is sabotaging some of his high-profile new storm detection equipment. He sent me out to storm country to investigate. Now, why would anyone want to sabotage storm measuring equipment? <sighs> I wish I knew. If you ask me, well, I guess it's too soon to ask me. Is there anything the two of us can help you with? Well, when I first arrived, I found a mysterious unmarked box full of cash. But I still have no clue who it belongs to. Hmm. It's hard to say what that's about. But one thing's for sure. It's important. Agreed. The fastest way to the bottom of any mystery is to follow the money. I don't think it's going to be that simple. It's definitely not going to be simple, but it's a guaranteed step in the right direction. Take a good long look at everyone on the team. Normal people don't just leave boxes of cash lying around. Good point. Will do. Any clue why someone would want to sever a coolant hose? If it's sabotage, it's not... Smart sabotage. It might be revenge. What do you mean, not smart sabotage? If it were me, not that I would ever do such a thing, I'd go after something a little harder to detect. Sure, driving without coolant will destroy a car, but the driver will get a warning before any real damage is done. It's more of an inconvenience than sabotage. So you're saying that whoever did this probably didn't know a whole lot about cars? That's my take on the situation. Does that help at all? What do you mean when you say it might be revenge? Revenge is... it's just never... Help me out here, Frank. With what? Weren't you paying attention? I'm, I'm talking to Nancy. Hey, Nancy. Sorry. Oh, don't give me that look, Joe. In case you've forgotten, we're sort of in the middle of something here. No offense, Nancy. None taken. What are you in the middle of? Turns out that trying to solve the mystery of the Romanov family is really, really hard. <laughs> well, a lot of people have tried. Now you tell me. Actually, it's a shame you're not here. It's been a trying couple of days. We could really use you on the case. Well, if you get stumped, you can ask me for help for a change. We just might. Do you know why anyone would want to attract mice into the house where we're staying? Is this someone a cat? Unlikely. Then I have no clue. Would either of you happen to know much about storm chasing? Unfortunately, not much more than the next guy on the street. But to me, it sounds a little crazy. Why would you want to chase anything that's 100,000 times bigger than you and full of electricity? Don't forget, this is some dangerous stuff. I won't. I'd better get to the case. All right, take care over there. Oh, we can only call these two? Wait, hold on. Huh. Can't check that off yet. This isn't the right car. Wrong car. Don't forget me. Okay, let's start taking pictures. All right, where's the best place to go? We've got a lot of different formations to spot, so if you head on out to the Fraser Creek Windmill, that'd be perfect right now. I know one of them is, one of the things you have to do is like take a picture, take pictures of a bunch of windmills and, not windmills, just 
clouds. I went the wrong way, didn't I? Yeah. This will help you identify the shots you need to take. When we get some good photos, we'll move on. Well, low poly book. Nice. Well, what are... Do I take a picture? That's the idea. Keep trying. I'll be sure to download the photos into the gallery when we get back to the farmhouse. <laughs> I guess we just go around taking pictures. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? You know, I didn't always want to be a storm photographer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I used to want to be a doctor. What changed your mind? Studying. <laughs> it's hard to stay focused on some boring little book when there's so much going on outside. True. It's all these crazy drivers. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? So you got the chasing bug. The chasing bug? The chasing bug. Oh, oops, sorry. Dude, this is pretty. I'm getting some great shots here. What about you? Or you can just pause and read. These are pretty good pictures. That's a good one. Wait, I can stop here? No. You piece of shit. Check. Still have to do that. He's probably gonna be like, these clothes aren't right. That's done. So, what's up? I'll catch you later. Oh, I almost forgot. Do me a favor and give this to Chase for me. I borrowed it from him. Keep forgetting to return it. Sure. Thanks, Nancy. You're the bomb. Oh, what's that? That was nothing. Hello again. I think I'm out of here after all. Bye. I'm gonna hit the sack, Nancy. You should do the same. I gotta do stuff. Wait. Get off, get off, get off, get off! Who's he talking to? How come something that makes such a mess be worth so much money? I'm never gonna get this stuff off. These are my best boots, dang it! Get out! That was a little weird.
Not really, he's just trying to... Hey there! Frosty asked me to return this to you. Thanks. Does he borrow stuff from you a lot? Hardly ever. Him and me don't exactly have a ton of stuff in common. He's the outgoing, sophisticated type, and I'm just a simple country boy. Won't let me forget it, neither. What's Debbie's relationship to Frosty like? Well, I always figured she didn't have much use for him. But you know, lately, seems like she and him been hanging out with each other a lot. Nothing romantic or anything like that, just, you know, talking. Sure don't know about what. That's it for now. See you around. What's up? I'll check back with bit. you in a bit. Have fun! It's late, Nancy. Why don't you call it quits for the day? This is a broadcast of the Hello? emergency is notification there? system. There have been multiple reports of a tornado touchdown in the area. All listeners are advised to seek shelter until further notice. I'd better get down into the cellar until the storm passes. Shoot, the power must be out. I'm looking for candles. Can you help? Someone is out there, right? Hello? Who's there? Hello? I'd better look into that in the morning. Good morning. What did you think of that storm last night? Pretty loud, huh? Well, yeah. I think it would have been impossible to sleep through that. You'd be surprised. Chase and Frosty? Those two could sleep through a circus explosion. Before I forget, Scott wants to talk to you. So make sure you go in there as soon as you leave here, okay? Sure thing. Since it doesn't look like we'll be chasing any storms today, the prairie dogs that have taken up residence by the cornfield, I just got notice that the ag people are going to exterminate them. What? But that's not fair. They're not hurting anyone. You're right. Fortunately, there's time for you to move them to the other side of the barn. But you're gonna have to move quickly. I told Chase to come up with a way to move them so they don't get hurt. Hopefully he's figured it out by now. So after you talk to Scott, go talk to Chase. Got it. Great. Thank you so much. I do it myself, but I'm buried in work right now. You're a lifesaver. Literally. Something about the uh, blah. Previously on Attorney General. Nancy, hi. Look, um, Debbie tells me it would be good for morale if I gave people around here a few out of boys every now and then. So I just wanted to say you did a um, pretty. Fair job, driving during the chase yesterday. Thank you. Well, let's not get cocky. I mean, there's always room for improvement. For instance, when you're driving in a steady downpour, you should always- Ah! Did you see that? Did you see that? Those dagnabbit mice are everywhere and I'm sick of it. So if you were wondering what your next job was gonna be, now you know. Get rid of the mice in here. Just make sure you do it humanely, or Debbie will never let me hear the end of it. Maybe you can get one of those Piper guys, or better yet, some kind of catch-and-release trap at that Ma and Pa store. Just get it done, okay? Alright, we're done for today. See ya.